So this sign has blue. It has the mint green in it. I like the paneling on it. It just looks rustic. But again, I didn't want to put it on a wreath. So we'll get started here. I actually have a wood um, base that we've used in the past for our Cricut signs and so on. So I'm actually going to adhere this to the wood and then I'm going to take, I think I'm going to use the thinner, um, I'm going to actually put roping around it, maybe I like the, this better. trying to visually see I think this I'm gonna like better so I have some glue dots that I'm gonna put on the item which I think the bigger ones would be better but I'm gonna use these just to adhere it to the wood so I can glue around it And this is, again, from Rita's Wreath Barn. Now this is just to hold it in place till I get my glue, till I get my rope glued down. And then that should hold it in place. Let me see if I can see any of your comments. Well, there you go. Hi, Dawn, how are you? Thank you, now I know Y'all can hear me okay? Did you ever just want to yank your home phone out of the wall? Or the plug? That's where I'm at today. Okay, so that's just going to tack it in place and hold it so I can glue the roping around it. Alright? And I think what I'll do is... I want to put the end of it where I'm going to be adding stuff so I can kind of cover it. So I think I'm going to start in this corner here. I'm going to do a bead of glue just down the side right next to the um, sign. So I shouldn't have any trouble. Um, it'll kind of secure the sign but also secure the roping with the hot glue and I can always go back at the end and tack it with some brads um, so this is basically just to adhere the roping to the wood but then keep the sign from popping off okay because again I want to make it look rustic okay and I was kind of hoping, hi Michelle, I was kind of hoping Rita would pop on so she could take any questions if you had any questions about her signs. She just started making sublimation signs. She can personalize them. Again, I didn't want to make a poofy mesh wreath for my grandson. I don't think my son would appreciate it in his room so and this will keep the sign from falling down or shifting again I wanted to make it look rustic so that's why I'm using the roping and for all of you that watched my live on Monday now outside creating he kept kept my um my followers busy on monday night because he just kept going up and down in front of the mevo and i have a bug company so why i have a spider when i have a bug contract so i he's been relocated and i put a bunch of peppermint um, cotton balls around 
there's a little bit of glue there once it's totally dry I'm going to just take my um, X-Acto knife and trim it out so and I already stained this wood sign before so I like the kind of see I kind of like the coloring as you can see Rita look what we're doing with your sign girl get on here tell everybody about your signs I wanted to do something more boyish so this is what we're doing had an emergency call and then I had just gotten home for an appointment and everything kind of went south. I was trying to get on here and then the Mevo was giving me fits. So I used glue dots, Rita, just to adhere it to the wood. Hi, Carol. And then we've, we've added the roping around to kind of hold the sign in place. It's kind of sandwiched between the wood and the roping. I know, right? You don't always have to put a sign in a wreath. You can always do something different. Now I have a few things here we can try. I didn't know if we wanted to add like, I thought this kind of looked different down the end. Yes. Yes, and she's working on a bee sign for me because I'm creating a bee gnome and I'm loving it. So I think maybe, I don't know. I'm not liking these balls now. They just don't look rustic enough. I think I had some plain balls. Here we go again. Lost my balls. we'll just go with a pine cone. I have a bigger one here. Let's see, that's too big. So maybe we will go with this. We'll put this down in the corner. Although I think I'm going to try and get most of the, um, well maybe the cotton would look good. Now that won't go in his room. I need to remove some of the glitter. Hi, Kathy. Because my son will freak if there's glitter in his son's bedroom. Oh, he doesn't need glitter. His uh, color scheme in his room is going to be navy with gray and mint colors. So I'm kind of thinking that'll just give it a little pop. Ooh, there's a lot of glue on this. Should have used the Gooby Gone. then we will trim it up and we can kind of put it right there but you know me I don't do it I need to be different so kind of put that there I do have some little tiny pine cones I can put up here that will cover up the end of the rope where I joined the two. I know. You should see some Arita signs. They are awesome. So if you guys are in need of a sign, go to Rita. I've been wanting to get one of those sublimation machines. My husband even bought me the heat transfer um, unit, but everybody's getting them. So I don't know. There's room for me. Alright, so there's what we have so far. Y'all see it? 
I go to sleep counting deer, not sheep. And then I thought what we do, I don't know if I want to put these on there or not. I have some plastic antlers here from Sims. I don't know. I want to put these on here and how I'm going to put them on there. That's going to be the question. Well, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that like that. We're going to cut a piece of wood, I mean a piece of rope to hang it from. Hi Joy. Thank you. I thought this looks like a boy, right? Now I'm going to glue it right along the side here, but I'm still allowing room that if I want to tack it with some brads later to give it more stability, I can. Just don't want to burn my finger. I even have some greenery too. If I wanted to add a little, I can. I'm out of pine cones, guys. I've got the real big ones, but I wanted some half this size. Ooh, wait a minute. Sometimes you can cut these down. Nah, it'll probably fall apart. So, I'm thinking probably about right there would be good. Joy, we missed you Monday night in group. I hope you're you're doing okay. Yeah, I I know I can. It's just I'm afraid if I do. Well, let's see. I just wanted it smaller. Uh, nope. And I don't have my knife down here, so I think I'll just stick with these. I have two more. I'm just I think I'm gonna put two more down there. But now it's like, okay, do I wanna hang these from here or not use them at all? leave it the way it is, or I think this, I think we're going to do this. I think we're just going to leave it plain and simple. What do you think? I think that that should be fine. I'll just have to get the rest of the glitter off this succulent. <laughs> Not like in some of the greenery that I have. Let me see. This has a combination of both colors, so we may be able to use this. I'll just put a little of this in there. With the bow. Maybe that's the way to go. I'm just trying out a bunch of things here to see which I like better. Nope. Oh, let me see. A lot of my stuff is upstairs ready to go to the shower. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. I think I got it. Let me try this. This is 
is fuller and looks more realistic. Just trying out a few different ideas to see if there's one that kind of no bow. Dawn, I have this. It's not camouflage, but it's um, pine with um, pine cones. Putrid. <gasps> I think I got it. No bow, but I think I got it. Hello, welcome. Aw, thank you, Brenda. I'm thinking, okay, putting, see what you think. I'll turn it around, all right? And we're going to add this here and here. And then an antler and an antler. But I have to consider... The weight and is it gonna well let's try it let's glue the pine in place I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit because I don't want to weight the one end so bad that it droops to one side when it's hung up and I may go ahead and ditch the succulent because now it looks kind of funky and get a smaller pine cone and put the pine cone in there and then do like that. I don't know. Or ditch the pine cones, or the, the antlers, I got another idea. And it may look better because it won't be so huge that it will take away from the only thing is it's got glitter on it what if I did that just put a deer in there glitter glitter oh my gosh my son's going to kill me Or I put the lighter one. Let's see what the lighter one looks like. Again, I'm just kind of feeling it out. What if I put the deer up there, the pine down there, and a pine cone right there? I'll get some more of the little ones that I have and just put a few little ones in there. What do you think that'll look like? y'all see it like that I'll just have to get rid of the glitter because my son will not go for the glitter but I'm trying to think I have I think I like the brown better than this one which yes I do Rita you think 
Yeah? All right. And grab box. I got lots of beer. See, that's why I have Rita on, because she knows what I've done in the past. Now I just have to find one, because it comes with three moose and three beer. You just have to go and unwrap all of them to find there's the beer. Yeah, maybe. Okay, it has this bow and that on there, and I just removed those. Usually you can just pull it off. There we go. All right. See, I don't know. It's going to look like the deer in the picture, but... What do you think? Up there, in the middle down here. Definitely gonna take the bow off of here. I just think I'm not sure this color goes with it, so maybe what we do, where'd that pine cone go? Well, I'll find it later. put two more up here so we have five and then that brown will balance that brown out what do you think of that hi Dawn if I put it there though it kind of covers up that deer unless we do this and put it right here Which way do you like it, guys? Yeah, I could. Well, let's see what it looks like down here with the pine. What do you think? Hi, Ann. How are you? You like the deer down there? I kind of like the deer against the green as opposed to against the gray. I don't think it does anything for it. That's why I'm thinking it does better down here. It does look like the deer that Rita put on the sign for me. But... I think I need to put some of these in there. Let me try a few and see how we look. And I'm going to get some with the brown tips. I think if I incorporate that in there, it kind of softens. Puts a little brown tint in there. I think I need one more on each side. Not a fan of the green cow, really? The 
got green in the sign. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it a little more rustic. Oh. Go back to the corner. Thoughts? Or is this just too much and we just need to go to this? Maybe the pine just overtakes it. And if I use this, got our mint green, we've got our brown. <sighs> you know what, I'm trying to do it upside down. So, maybe if I go this side, Cut this down a little. Yeah, I think I like it better on the corner too. And I think I'll go with this down and this up. Maybe this needs to be painted a gray. What do you think? Paint that a gray? Let me see if I have gray in here. I do have gray. Let's put a little bit of paint on the back and see if that works better. Sometimes you just have to keep trying until you come up with a combination that you like the best. And since this room is gray, the walls are light gray, I think that would work. These are Dollar Tree um, brushes, makeup brushes. I use those a lot. Lori taught us that one time. get it out. Let's see what he'll look like. Gray. I'll paint the underside and we'll flip it and we'll see which way we like it. I think the gray might be the way to go. It's sitting on top of the green. Let me just turn it around now. Get all this stuff out of the way. And what do you think of it with the deer being gray against the green? Can y'all see the gray against the green? What do you think of it? It'll kind of match the deer in the picture better. And I think it'll stand out against the green. I don't want to paint it navy blue. Yeah, I think that's, that's the way we need to go.
the gray. Yep. All right. So let's glue our greenery in place. I like the bigger one hanging down this way. Yeah, it's what it needed. And again, sometimes you don't know until you try it a few times how it's going to look. I think that's a better contrast against the green with gray on the bottom. I like it, ladies. I like it. And I am so glad you can help me. Yeah, look. Better. Better, better, better. All right. So... I think I'm going to glue it down this way. So let's paint this side. I'm going to have gray all over my fingers. Just please pray for good weather on Saturday for the baby shower. It's not looking good. I wanted to go live from the baby shower on Friday night after we're done decorating, but I'm afraid my daughter-in-law is going to see it. So what I will probably do is record it and then post it on um, Saturday afternoon so you guys can watch it. All the uh, decorating I've been doing, I may even inspire you. You never know. Okay. Yeah, gray looks better. Right, Joy? Better, better, better. All right, let's see if we can get this guy in here while he dries. I got some touching up to do, but that's okay. We can do some touches while it's in place. More. Well, that ain't working. So, I think I need some kind of a spacer in there. So, let me look here. Sometimes if you need something to sit just a little bit higher, you put something underneath it, and you glue it to that. And I really think Piece that chunky yarn or wait a minute where did I just put those little pine cones there's one yes okay I'm going to glue the pine cone in place and then glue it to the pine cone then it will sit above that pine right there it will be up where I want it. There we go. That way it will look realistic if anybody sees it. <gasps> Perfect! Perfect! See? How's Rita's sign look now? I have to touch it up a little in spots where my fingers were hitting it. Oh, per 
perfect. Now this is awesome for a little boy's room. Everything's a deer theme. Wait till you see the diaper cake I made. Oh my gosh. It has the cutest little fawn sitting at the top of the diaper cake. Awesome. I love it. Let's put the lid on here before I spill it. Now, do we need, and where was that other little pine cone? There's the other little one. I think I'm going to put that right in there. Yes. And I'll find the other one that dropped on the floor and I'll put it there. All right, what do we think? I know, didn't she do an awesome job? I saw this saying, and I thought that's what he needs in his room. And see, I need the one little pine cone. Well, we're just going to go back in the box and grab another one. There. We got another one. And I want it right there now. Right here. Right there. Don't mind me. I'm just talking to myself. No, I want it right there. Yep, right there. I'm putting the snowy side down. There. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Now, do we or do we not need a bow at the top? Do we want to do this bow at the top, this color? What do you think? Let me just make a little bow. Then we'll see, with or without. Then we're going to go back and finish my heart wreath. Because I decided against the little dog bones. But I found something else I want to add to the bow. Yes. That's, that's, new, that's natural, neutral. Just going to sweep off all the darn glitter from the two deer heads. <laughs> Don't want glitter in my son's room. Yes, I think so. And I think this, because we've got the green, we've got the pine cones, we've got the green in here. Um, I could, now wait, now wait. Oh, I had another idea. Uh, I think, where is it? What if we did no, I have an open roll. It's probably upstairs because I have to make more bows for the shower. But what if we did the blue up here with this on top? What are your thoughts on that? Just a simple bow. Oh, here I have a opened roll of this. That would be neat. Never thought of that, Marie. But I don't have any wooden, um, I don't have any wooden balls. That is the new trend for next year. If you watch Trend Genie from Trendy Tree, she's talking about wooden beads. I'm just going to do a simple um, three hand bow, three loop. That's all I want. Just a simple. Well, 
this is what I have that's gray. And remember, okay, they've got navy in the room. I think if I use the, the solid gray that I have, it wouldn't work on the wall. It'd be too, too close to the color, unless I went like this, but that kind of looks boyish to me, and then I don't think it goes with that one. So, I think because, what else did I, this is what I used on the diaper cake. I used this color. There's something else that I used it on to decorate. I don't know. Let me think. looking at my choices. This has got flowers on it, so that's gonna, my son's not gonna like that one. I think I'm just gonna stick with the navy and with this because I think I will cover all my bases with this. And he shouldn't be upset with me. I think I'm going to use this to tie it in place. Stick with my rustic theme. Hey, Connie, how are you? I think you're right, Marie. I think the wooden beads would look nice, but don't have any at the moment. So let's just go this route. Well no, she likes it when it when she looks at it at the shower. If she doesn't like it then I'll thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. So I had some a phone calls, some technical difficulties and didn't get to send out my and one of the things that's really good to do if you're going to do a knot you want it to stay closed and use a roping put a little dab of glue on there I started doing that on my pom-poms and it is helping everything stay put I know this looks a little funky right now let me just Poof it out. what I think I was going for. Let's do some dovetailing here. I love this pine cone um, ribbon. Not always, Marie. But thanks for the vote of confidence. A daughter is a daughter for life. A son is a son till he takes a wife. Yes, I'm, I'm thinking the pine cone that fell on the floor that I can't find <laughs> will be the one that will go in the center. Uh, absolutely. And I guess until I find it, I'll just take another one off. 
one of these. If anybody needs a moose or a deer, let me know. My girlfriend picked up a bunch for me. Look at that. Awesome sauce. All right. Let's get this other one dovetailed. Poor Rita. I drove her nuts with this sign. She had her hands full with my ideas. It's hard doing custom work for somebody. I know. <laughs> right? You got me, Marie. You understand me. We love her. She takes, she does an awesome job. They have an awesome marriage. And they've been through a lot. And this baby means more to them than anything in the world right now. She was in a severe car accident. Didn't think she was going to be able to have children. They weren't sure. They were pretty sure she was going to be able to, but... Yeah, so this is a miracle. And I am going to get to be a part of his life weekly because he lives local. They live local. So that's what counts. You put up with me. <laughs> that's what counts. <laughs> when all was finished, we loved it, right? And it's so cute. It's so rustic for a little boy's room. There. Okay. I'm just making sure I don't touch that hot glue and give myself a nice burn. There. Okay. What do you think? We're done. Now all I have to do is finish the curtains. I trust your designs. That's why you're creating the gnome one for me. Rita is working on a bee one for me because I have a bee gnome that I'm going to be making. There we go. Nice little rustic looking sign for the baby's room. And that was the last of the projects that I had to do. I have to do a couple more bows but this was the last thing that I wanted to make. Now all I have is the curtains. Making valances. The curtains are navy blue with deer heads all over it. Thank you, Rita. I think that looks awesome, don't you? And I like the deer in gray much better. Whose idea was that? Awesome idea.